Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jonathan Coles and in today's free automation training, I'm going to be talking about Facebook automation with Mass Planner, which is actually the new version is called Sue Social now, which is an upgraded version of Mass Planner. Now, the one that I actually have is the exact same interface if you're using Sue Social or Jarvis still. So you don't have to worry about any of the information being out of date or for the most part, everything that you're going to see in this video should match what you see on your Sue Social dashboard. So I just want to go ahead and get started. Let's start with the social profiles and mainly what I'm going to be covering in this video is group finding, posting in groups, Facebook group automation, account actions such as wishing happy birthday to your friends, finding new friends that's relevant to your industry, all that type of stuff. I'm going to go through the whole dashboard here. So first, when you do create your Facebook account on social profiles, you click on add profiles. And when you create the account, it's going to come up like so. Now, normally what you can do is you can in order to say if you got a bunch of different accounts in your social profiles, you can actually separate it. In this case, I'm just going to put Jerry Maddox. So let's see, Jerry Maddox. And I'll put Facebook right here. That way, when I type in Jerry Maddox, I can just put Facebook in the filters. So let me go back and show you. In the filters right here, I'll just put Facebook. So if I have hundreds of different social media platforms, I can just basically type in Facebook and it'll come right up. So and I can do the same thing right here. Like if I go to the tag section, I basically just put Facebook in right here. And what you do is you have your account description, your information in it if you like, and you put your username and your password here. Now, before you verify your account, you want to put your proxy settings in it. If you're not familiar with that, basically, it's a way that you can mask your IP address. I have another different training about it. You can create one for yourself using Raspberry Pis. And I'll, I'll talk about all the different equipment and hardware in that video, or you can rent one out pay like a monthly expense, which a lot of people do, but, or you can just use, turn your mobile phone into a proxy by using proxy dies. And again, I'll leave that in the description, but you just want to make sure that you're masking your IP address because in the social media actions that we're going to be setting up, you don't want them all coming from your location. And then you have the advanced settings down here. I just want to talk about this area real quick and then go to tools. So once you have your profile added into mass planner, we're going to go to tools and then we're going to start at the very top left right here where it says finder. This is where we're going to be finding groups that's relevant to our industry. Now, before we actually turn it on and turn the actions on, we're going to go ahead and set everything up. So right now it should be verified under your preferred proxy. And then so it should say valid. In this case, it just says pending. I'm using this as an example. And then under the tools. So what the finder does, it actually goes out and finds groups that's relevant and related to the keywords that you put in here. So if you're in the nutrition niche, you can basically put keywords in that is related to your product, service or opportunity. And I'll recommend a couple hundred and I'll show you how to do that so that Mass Planner or Sue Social Jarvis, whichever software that you're using, it should look just like this, by the way. It'll go out and find those groups and join them. And you actually set that up in the joiner tab. So and since we're going to be posting to groups later, we're going to go ahead and sow the seeds for that now by putting the keywords in here. Keep in mind, we're not just going to be posting to Facebook groups in order to generate traffic. We're going to do a lot of other different things this, like this is our traffic stream, but in each traffic stream, they have these different micro traffic streams. And obviously this is the first one finding, joining and posting in Facebook groups. You also got the contact, you got invite, you can invite people to Facebook groups. You can do a follow and unfollow approach, have this stuff in your bio. So people click on that. You can put the information in your cover photo. You can send people birthday requests. As I mentioned, there's a lot of different things that you can do on here. Search and ad furnish was similar to the finder. So each traffic, traffic stream, each one of these social media accounts is a way of generating leads to your business. And inside each one of them essentially are these different micro traffic streams. So the first traffic stream that we're going to be setting up here is the group finder. And as I was saying earlier, basically the software goes out and finds those groups based off of the keywords that you give it. So there's a few ways that you can do this. And I recommend that you do both. The first way is to extract groups from keywords so what you can do is basically you can go to basically Moz or i'll try to link the video that i talk about for keyword research in the description but it's something that really simple that you can do in fact you can even use copilot so i'll just go ahead and do that i'll i'll do copilot and i'll separate them by commas because that's how the software is able to properly sort through those keywords when they're, they're going to find groups so let me just use copilot real quick let me get just for this example i'll use 50 50 long tail keywords about help and separate 
separate all of them by commas. I think it's spelled separate wrong, but whatever. Oh, something went wrong. Please wait while we resolve. Okay, go ahead and let that do its thing. So we're gonna get these keywords basically. Oh, okay, so it wants me to sign in. I'm gonna take this prompt and go somewhere else because this is actually the perfect prompt. It looks like it's having some issues here. So let's just type in chat GPT. So let me go ahead and paste this prompt in here so I can get 50 long tail keywords. And I'll basically use this and I have to clarify, I want them rated by comment, whatever. I spelled it wrong. Oh my goodness. Have up in one block text. Boom. Okay, so this is actually how we're gonna need it right here. So I would basically take that first prompt and then kind of combine it with the second two so that you're not have to go through that whole process. And I'll just basically try to have that in the description. So you don't have to basically do what I just did. So you can basically just do this. So I'll, I'll go ahead and take this, copy it like so, and we're gonna go back to Mass Planner and put this in here. Extract groups that contain the following keywords, separate by commas, and I'll paste that in there like so. And I wanna make sure I take out this first part here. I totally forgot that we copied the entire text here. So now we have all of these keywords in here separated by commas. We can basically just take this. So what we wanna do right here when from extracting keywords, depending on your product, service, or opportunity, you just want to be broad with the keywords that you get. So if you're in the health and fitness niche, you want stuff like bodybuilding, you want nutrition, words like that, circuit training. You don't want to be too niche. And if you're in the weight loss community, stuff like that, shed, lose, belly fat. If you're in the skin cream community, nothing too specific, just keep it broad. And what I've done here, and you want to separate them by commas. I went to chat GPT and I just said, let me get 100 broad keywords related to health and fitness and put them in one block of text and separate them by commas. Now I butchered the spelling there, but I'll have that in the description. So you can just basically copy that and do the same thing. And you can just replace your niche with whatever I have health and fitness right here. So you just put your niche in there and I'll take this. I can basically just copy this or what I want to do is so I don't copy that top portion there. I can basically just copy this here and put that in there where it says extract from groups. So extract groups that contain the following keywords. Just basically paste that in there like so. So we got stuff like emotional eating, binge eating, weight management, nutrition counseling, nutritional counseling. These are all broad words. So I would click on extract groups, but this specific account isn't in valid status right now. So just make sure yours is verified. You just click on extract from groups. And while that's doing that, you should be able to get a few hundred from that, a few hundred groups, hopefully even a couple thousand. And it'll show up in the resources below here. It should pop up down below. We can get groups another way. You can scroll down and we can basically get it from a URL. So example is you basically just go to Facebook in the search bar and go to groups. And from there, you just type in your niche. So whether if you're in weight loss, you type in weight loss in the search bar on Facebook. If you're in belly fat training or if you're in the nutrition skin cream community, then you take that entire URL there. As you can see, it's laid out just like so. And in this example, he puts groups from New York City. And you take that URL and you put that URL in here and you, you click on this to extract the groups from there. So you're using both of these methods of getting groups from Facebook and it's all happening on complete autopilot. And again, you wanna do the same thing as we did above is using a broad keyword rather than being too specific. Just basically put in whatever your niche is in here. We're doing a double whammy here and before you click on extract groups, we wanna just set up these group filters here. So the first one, we wanna leave this on zero. So we're gonna skip groups with more than zero users. So you leave it at zero to ignore and skip groups with less than, I put 4,999 users because from my experience, basically what I found is anything that's less than 5,000 members for what we're gonna be doing is kind of a waste of time. You wanna make sure you have at least 5,000 members in that group and it shouldn't be that difficult. You should be able to find groups with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. So, and it's going to happen automatically from the software. You just want to make sure that you're just basically doing what we're doing here. So right here, you can go ahead and put 1000 and then we want to make sure that this is ticked right here. Skip groups containing non-English characters in their name, unless that you're in a market or a country, unless that your market is non-English. And then right here, you want to make sure that this is checked off right here. Ignore already joined groups so that it's not, you know, going into groups that you're already joining. It's not wasting time doing that. And then once you're done with that, you got those filters all set up. You can click on extract groups 
And then what will happen from there, basically, it's going to go off and find groups in the background on autopilot. And it'll it'll join those groups and it'll go through the process and do that for you. So once we set that all up with the group filters, we want to go back up top and basically click on extract groups for both of these. And it should take about 20, 30 minutes for it to collect all of those groups. And once it's done, we want to go at the bottom here and click on select all and then once we got it all selected, we want to send the selected to joiner. So we'll click on that right after we have them all selected. And then once we're done with that, we'll go to joiner. We'll click on this tab up here. So we're going to set up all the different settings here. And so what should happen is you should see all of the groups pop up down here at the very bottom. And you want to have certain settings. We're going to go ahead and go through this now. So for my run timers, I have wait between 1800 seconds and 3600 before each new operation and execute between 12 a.m. What that means is going to join a new group within those time frames. And that way it's not doing it too fast. It's not doing the actions that we give it, like joining groups and sifting, you know, doing these API actions, which basically every time you do something on an app, especially if you're using a mobile proxy, is Facebook thinks it's coming from a a phone. So every time you do something on the app, it's an API action. If you have too many API actions, it signals to Instagram or Facebook meta basically that it's a bot, it's a software. And because it's running on autopilot and all, basically in the background on automation, you want it to act like a human. So we're doing things slow and steady. We have multiple counts and we're scaling up over time. So right here where it says execute between 12 a.m. and 11.59 p.m., we're having it run 24 hours here and you can experiment make sure you're testing you know this is not set in stone based off of whatever your goals are you just test you can test this out see how it works for you and you adjust from there and i bring that up is because you can also randomize the intervals daily so you can tick that to see how that works for you but i basically have it running for 24 hours and waiting between 1800 seconds and 3600 seconds and and because it's running 24 hours a day and seven days a week, you want to run things slow and steady. So this is after you warm up the account, basically after like the 21 day period where you've went through the warm up process. And I have a separate video for that because it's completely different. You don't want to be just jumping in because it can actually just blow up in your face if you're setting stuff up too fast and you're trying to, you know, create accounts and then automatically start doing stuff with them that comes off as spam to Instagram's algorithm. So we're gonna do things slow and steady. And, and because in this case, we're running things 24 hours, I'm gonna keep these intervals in here like so. I'm gonna keep mine unchecked, but again, you can test and see how that works for you. But in this specific case, I'm gonna have it between 30 to 40 groups per day. And we want to have this checked off right here, pick groups by the number of members in descending order. And you can choose right here if you want to cancel pending group joins, because sometimes, you know, it takes time for them to whoever the administrator is to accept you on whether or not they want you in their group and if you don't want to go through that process you want to just skip over those groups you can basically click this box right here and i'm going to leave everything else like so and once we have all of this set up you can click on this button right here that turns it on so it starts to go through that process of joining those groups as well as sorting through those groups and joining them and in the next video i'm going to talk about the next tab up here which is notifications off as well as account actions and we're going to run down all of these all right so i hope you enjoyed this video this is basically how to automate the facebook group joining process and as well as how to set up your proxies in your social profiles and stay tuned for the next training is i'm going to be talking about the rest of these tabs up here all right so with that said i will see you in the next video see you then